ไม่ต้องนะกูรับส่งกูรับส่งสิสกูรับส่ง please take your seat thank you so your name is uh, G B B S D E P K Yadav right ah yes okay so what does it mean uh, yes गोरला वीर वेंकट सचुदेश्वर प्रेम कुमार यादव Can you come again? Gorla Veera Venkata Satyadurga Ishwar Praveen Kumar Yadav ma'am. So how do I call you? Praveen ma'am. Okay. Right. So Mr. Praveen, uh, you said you worked in you worked in this role. Did you resign? No, 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 not at all. Still I am working ma'am. Then then you mentioned that you worked till June twenty eighth, two thousand seventeen. Ah uh, yeah, because that is the date uh, when I uh, filled the DF ma'am. So okay. on that date uh, I am working. So after that uh, I don't know. So uh, until that date I am working. So that's why I mentioned on the date sir. Okay, but you are still working, uh, is I'm it? Still working, yes. All right. So now that you are still working, uh, why do you want to leave Isro? Is it? It is a good job, right? Ah uh, yes, ma'am. So uh, but uh, uh, here uh, I'll get. It's a technical job, ma'am. If it, if uh, I yes is it. Moreover, here I'll get lot of diversification. They are, uh, they are, that job is also good man, but it will be confined to only one area in which I will work. So that's why. So what role are you in this role? Uh, I am uh, I am working in a sensor design. I am doing right now in digital design. Okay. So I think you can reduce the Bangalore traffic minutes, right? Why do you want to get into railway signalling department? Uh, uh, Bangalore traffic, uh, that option is not there in uh, even in the services. Uh, if if it is there, I would have opted. Okay. Well, so that is the reason you want to join the railway signalling department. Uh, no, no, more uh, it, it is a more challenging role. Uh, That's why there is a lot of diversity will be there, and it is a cha challenging role also. So that's why I want to pursue that job. Okay. Right. So recently there has been some news related to some nano satellites, right? Ha ha. So sprites, ma'am. Sprites, sprites. It's nothing but nano satellites, ma'am. Uh, those satellites will be. Uh, this it contains almost all the parts, ma'am. Uh, it almost works like a normal satellite only, but uh, it needs some carrier to get into the space. What do sprites mean? Uh, it's a nano satellite. Okay. Uh, it's a small nano chip like satellite, mm -hmm. which will be uh, flown into the space so that uh, it can be used for communication purposes also. Okay. How can it be done? Uh, like a. Uh, 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 first, uh, some carrier will be there, ma'am. Some carrier missions. Some large satellites will be there. With that large satellite, the uh, our nano satellite, that sprite will be attached to that. Once everything has come, link has been established in the space from uh, from space to the ground station. Uh, it will lead that uh, sprite into the space, so it, it will rotate in the same orbit, so that link will be maintained. We we'll get the communication. Okay. Okay. You said you are working in ISRO. Huh, yes. Because of high launch frequency, do you think any effects are there? Sir, uh, debris will be created. Uh, space debris. What is the meaning of space debris? Means once our satellite which has been launched there, after lifetime is over, hmm. we won't get any communication, or we it won't be used for the purpose what we what it is mentioned, what it is intended. So it will become debris in the space. Do you have any type of collision? Ah, uh, yeah, collisions will be there, sir. Uh, uh, like uh, even uh, uh, collisions in the sense, uh, since in the days uh, the whatever the parts, even in a small bolt also, if it hits the uh, whatever the current uh, satellite which is giving communication, it will definitely affect the communication, sir. How to control these collisions? Uh, actually, what we are doing uh, to control this uh, space debris. Uh, currently, uh, uh, so many space space flying missions are there, sir. They they are uh, already constituted some committees to control this. But currently, uh, what normally they will do, 
they will uh, once the once the lifetime is over, uh, they will uh, inject. Uh, uh, they will start the um, motor of the that particular uh, satellite so that it will be transferred to the other orbits. Suppose medium earth orbits we won't use, sir. so it will it will be low earth low earth orbits satellites will be transferred to medium earth orbits. If it is geo, it will be transferred to further heights. Sir. What is your role in Nisro Leos? Uh, there, uh, I am working in uh, digital magnetometer interface design, sir. What does a magnetometer mean? Uh, magnetometer, uh, it's also one type of sensor, ma'am. Uh, it's like auxiliary sensor, ma'am. Uh, there are uh, other types of sensors also there, but this digital magnetometer will be used when when no sensor is giving any information regarding the satellite position. At that time, this digital magnetometer can be used, ma'am. Apart from that, it will also be, uh, it also measures the magnetic field, ma'am. It's magnetic field also. Why can't you use it in nano set? Ah, uh, for that only. Uh, yeah. For that only, we are uh, trying for uh, ASIC, sir. Actually, India in India recently in India we are not at, uh, we are not still not developed uh, any ASIC based uh, design, sir. Still, uh, digital magnetometer we are uh, mounting on the satellite uh, using the booms, sir. Booms in booms is nothing but long rods will be there since. If we if we keep it in the satellite board itself, uh, it it also it also uh, it also taking the effects the effect of the other magnet uh, stray magnetic fields also will be there, sir. So that's why long beam will be uh, there. Uh, it will be kept apart means it will be kept at a more distance from the satellite, sir. That nine hundred meters. Hi, Adam. Welcome. Uh, it seems you did the MTech in VLSI uh, yes. and you are working in digital design field. Uh, yes, sir. What exactly you are doing in digital design? Uh, I am just doing the interfacing part, sir. Whatever the data I am getting uh, from the magnetometer, that data has to be given to the our uh, onboard computer, sir. So interface design will be sir. in that interface design. I am working, sir. Actually, all the industries they are using very well in their industries and applications. But why you are still persisting with VHDL? Uh, even uh, uh, sorry sir, I don't know. Okay, What's the difference between Verilog and VHDL? Verilog is user friendly sir, mm -hmm. uh, whereas VHDL is uh, not that much user friendly. And in VHDL, uh, uh, in VHDL when you are uh, declaring signals and everything, uh, you, you will uh, you have to declare in the entity itself. But uh, here uh, in the log, it's almost like C. Uh, you can declare wherever it, it's possible, wherever you require. And there are some data types also readily available, uh, which can be easily synthesized uh, in the log, uh, like wire, register. These are the data types readily available. There, these are the some things I know I could recollect, sir. That's nice. What is the expansion of VHDL? Uh, very very high speed integrated uh, circuit design hardware description on this. It seems you worked on ASIC as well as FPGA. Uh, no sir, I am working on uh, ASIC prototype. ASIC we have to do sir. Mm -hmm. Actually, currently there is a SCL foundry is also there sir in Chandigarh. But uh, right now, what I am working in uh, we uh, digital magnetometer interfacing. First, I have to develop uh, FPGA for prototyping sir. After that, there is end that uh, we will go for. Uh, I think so. Currently, simulations have been completed. Sir. So, further we have to work on it. Sir. I mean, to the extent possible, can you tell me what uh, differences will be there if I implement using ASIC, if I implement using FPGA? Yes, sir. Uh, like uh, uh, ASIC is mostly that is application specific, sir. In the sense, suppose uh, if I need this magnetometer, same magnetometer if I implement it in FPGA, I will take that FPGA, whatever it is there, and I will implement. Lot of space may be wasted, sir. At the same time, uh, everything is already there, sir. That speed, everything has been already defined according to the defined defined thing we are doing, sir. But it, in ASIC, it's not like that, sir. According to our requirement, uh, we will uh, design the size. Yeah, so if chip size has been reduced, chip size, weight, everything has been reduced, so it will automatically uh, give advantage for the satellite uh, weight. Uh, uh, so that it will, it will operate very less weight, less weight in the rocket. So, uh, apart from that, uh, these are the things I like. Now. 
which is more flexible asic based design or fpca based design fpca is flexible so it's very easy to uh, once i program it uh, once i after sense i'll check it in fpca if it's working okay then i'll go for uh, flight mode uh, fpca if it is working i'll uh, i'll i'll use that fpca directly mm -hmm. but it is asic it may take time so it may not be flexible but uh, for large bulk of production asic is good sir mm -hmm. if uh, if he, if he says wants to uh, produce more nanometers like that then it may be can you say like this at research level you have to use fpca and once the part is successful you have to use yes. mass production yeah yes, for mass production asic is good sir mass production uh, asic is good okay that's nice which FPC is your, which is the fastest FPC as of now what you are using? Currently, uh, I implemented on RTSX, sir. But uh, I don't know about recent trends, sir. No, no. What are you used among them? Which is the your fastest one? Uh, I, I, RTSX, I guess. How do you describe FPC? I mean, how, many, uh, how do you describe it? I mean, is it in terms of frequency of operation or is it in terms of number of gates? How do you explain that FPGA? FPGA. So for an application, I want to choose one FPGA. Mm -hmm. On yes, what sir. parameters you are going to choose? Uh, depending on the our uh, uh, number of blocks, it's occupying. At the same time, its speed. Depending on that, I will choose FPGA. Sir. Mm -hmm. But while we are coding itself, we will get to know. Uh, we will mention in the uh, software itself. We are going to select. We will select some FPGA, and according to that, we will code in that. What is CPLD? Complex program, programmable logic devices. Mm -hmm. It is uh, uh, it contains some logic box will be there. So. Mm -hmm. That's what I could recreate. Okay. Can you compare FPC and uh, CPLD? Uh, yeah. I know I could not recreate. Okay, right. Mr. Pravin said that you worked in Masara Bharati. Yes, sir. Are you comfortable in communication? Yes, sir. How the programming sequence will be run in server? Uh, first, the program will be shot in a uh, studio. So after that, uh, the program will be transferred to the whatever the shot. The program will be transferred to the control room. Uh, from there, uh, he will uh, one supervisor will be there. He will go through the program. After that, it will be transferred to the master station room. From there, that station will, it will be transferred to that station. After that, the program will be aired to the to the satellite to the so, so modulation is required to transmit the signal from up station to satellite. Huh. So which type of modulation we are using in analog transmission? Analog FM we are using FM sir. FM modulation. In digital? Uh, we are using PSK sir. What the downlink frequency is the downlink frequency in satellite? Uh, because uh, losses will be there sir. To afford that losses, uh, we need more power required. We require more powers. If we use ground ground station, then we can afford more powers. But at the same time, satellite could not afford uh, more power, so we, we use downlink frequency. Can you tell us what are the internet frequencies used in up the stations? Yes, sorry, sir. Actually, I could not recall it now. Actually, I work in IT, IT division, in but uh, one year. I worked there in the IT division in Prasad Valley, so. so I just, when I used to go to that uh, studio and everything, I used to see whatever in the hotel. Okay. Then what is your role in IT division? In IT division, uh, there is a project called HRIS project, sir. Human Resource Information System project. And that for that project, I am a supervisor, sir. For that, we have been given a training in a .NET, uh, using ASP.NET, sir. After that, small property also is given. We have been, but after that, uh, I will cross up with you guys. The interview is over. Thank you, Mr. Pepe. You can leave. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.